Only a couple games remaining, eh, Campy? Yeah. They're right there. Right there. Right at the end, there's a tunnel. At the zoological Zodium. Zul. Zulu. Zulu. <laughs> Zulu Alpha. <laughs> Welcome back to the ZZZ. I am Campy. You are Super MC Gamer. Sick. We're here to rate the last what three? Last three is on three ones left. Out of nine different categories. categories, which is awesome. Uh, we still both have two of our gold triangles. Ten, ten bonus points. Uh, we each have twenty points to, to allocate through three games. I got three hearts. So I can save some points. You have one left. I, one that's gonna get canceled probably. Maybe we don't know. Maybe I'm gonna cancel some of your stuff soon. Awesome. So let's start with Spirit Tracks Box Art. Yes, yeah, we're playing we're reviewing Spirit Tracks today. Train game. Boy, does this just look bad compared to like I love the Japanese one. Oh, okay. We're not rating the Japanese one. I know, one. but God, it just looks. It it, it, it is pretty bland. It's I, pretty bland. I do like that it's blue. It, it's, it's blue. It's got colors, which is much better than Phantom Hourglass. That, that, that brown, it wasn't even a gold, it was a brown. Join Link and Zelda in a new adventure. All new adventure. All new. Shows off some features. One, two, three, four. What's what's what else we're linked in there? Oh, because it's multiplayer. Yeah, it's four friends. It shows off play, multiplayer mode. Which is really cool. Um, This is a sequel... But in the future. Yes, this is, um, I'll, I'll hold back a little bit on the story. So, it's not bad. It's not great. It's got four panels. Show it on the screen. Zoom in, zoom out, flip it around, zoop to do. Um, it's okay. It, it, it could, it, I don't know. It's fine. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I don't have anything good to say about it. I'm doing a five. Well, that's it. Alright, we're, we're, we're in agreement. It's a story. Now, okay, so. It's a spooky ghost. <laughs> <laughs> so it's set a hundred years uh, af after um, Phantom Hourglass, where uh, New Hyrule has been established. Tetra and Link did their job for. <laughs> Good job. And, well, you're not supposed to name a New Hyrule. Uh, and Deep. Um, but uh, it, 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 there's a new Link. Uh, we, we don't really talk about old Link. Uh, T Tetra is revered as, like, Qu Queen Mama, uh, and Link goes to get his train license, and Zelda's like, hey, come talk to me, I got, I got a suspicion going on, and she's like, I think something's bad going on at the Tower of Spirits, let's go check it out, they go to the Tower of Spirits, and not only is something bad going on, it was, it was her, her, her closest uh, ally, the Chancellor, Chancellor Cole, who, who seeks, uh, the, the, the great, the great, uh, force, w what force is in this one? I don't remember. Great choo choo for it's there's a lot there's a lot of like 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 big power in this game and yeah um isn't Nico in this game N Nico's this game he presents so the backstory so old he's really so old. He, he's over a hundred years old he's well over <laughs> he is he's, he ate his weedies he he's the la he's he's seen it all yeah he's he's he's, he's been around um and Zelda does get turned into a ghost in, in this scene yeah which she, she she loses her body and then takes over armor. Yes. Which is really cool because we actually see, like, the armor attack in Super Smash Brothers Zelda uses. Yes. She summons... <laughs> so yes. that's really cool. That's a, that's a, that's a very side story. But that's really cool that she does take control over just the uh, armor. This is really neat. Um, story, much better. Much better than Phantom Hourglass. I mean, there's, there's some depth to it in terms of, um, of the idea that, that, that we're like, oh, can't transfer Cole's the villain. No, uh... He wants to resurrect the Demon King Maladus, who apparently yeah. was like in New Hyrule any any time before yeah. Tetra and Link, and uh, Maladus is a very bland villain. Yeah, he he, he is uh, Ganon light to the extreme. Like I almost think even more bland he than Ganon. Yeah, he did die, die. not not even one calorie. <laughs> not even. You can drink it for free. Yeah, it's it's not. No, I, the one thing I did like about the game. Um, uh, the kind of actually like, overall when we get to the world, but like the final boss fight was cool. Was the final boss fight was really good. I, it was much better than anything Phantom Hourglass ever attempted. There is uh, the character Burn mm -hmm. and and the Locomos, the Locomos, yeah. and, and, and Jean uh, and and the other ones that have all uh, 
um, train related names always isn't steep one I don't know something like that um, so just like in, you're using a, a, the stylus to do literally everything uh, they did fix some things uh, and this time you're on rails you're literally on rails when you play this game which I almost feel like an improvement to yeah because like you're you're stuck on this and sort of like oh well here's all this open ocean and woo there you go yeah. like you're you're actually stuck and you get to slow speed but there's enemies on the tracks and stuff like that which is kind of scary because mm -hmm. some of those enemies are like the trains come out you're like oh jeez <laughs> um that's Fo fine focusing on the story I think like at the end when um you 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 the, the big the big moment the, the big climactic moment is when when you Zelda and and the the, the other locomos they 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 play play the song and and and, and, and which allows you to power up and take down Maladus. Yes, the, 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 the gimmick of this game, really, really beyond touchscreen, is pl playing the spirit flute. Yeah, no, playing the flute. So, so I, I'm very, very in, in support of this story, honestly, because it, it took what was very bland about Fa Fan Miles' story. And, and did so much more. And, and, and for that, I honestly give it like an eight. Yeah. I, 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 they, they made Zelda interactive. They made, they took, like, and there's even linebacker in this game, so. There is a lineback. There is a linebacker. A, a lineback the third, I believe. It's not bad. A, it's not my cup of tea, but the final fight was what really helped me out. World. The world's interesting because they divided it very clearly into five sections. Yeah. Like, 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 like you know how, how, how you, you'd expect it? It's, it's like a Minecraft where it's like, I'm walking through the forest desert. <laughs> Whoa. When did that ocean. Ocean. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. It, this one has ocean realm, sand realm, fire realm. For, uh, ice and forest, mm -hmm. um, and that's good because it's very different. As yeah. like every area has some it's unique all things. Unique thing, yeah. Um, and, and furthermore to that, I feel like the areas feel unique because of it. Yeah, no, like I, I, every time traveling somewhere new, like, I, I didn't feel like oh, well, we're going here. Oh, we're going here. Like everything did feel very special. It, like, it is difficult to get to those places. Yeah, though. but it's very. Unlike Phantom Hourglass, where it's just like, oh, island. Oh, same island? No, different island. This one's on Icy Island. It, yeah, it, it, it wasn't even that icy. <laughs> yeah. I think the one was really good. I don't know really problems with that. I can't really... like. I don't like the, the division of it. Yeah. Traveling around was... I, I made it a lot easier. That like Just made it more fun. Especially when it's like... Do, 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 oh, yeah. Do, do. And you're just like, all right, we're going on an adventure. <laughs> Sure. Six. Sixes. Sixes. Now let's talk about the first time playthrough. And have you have you done this one? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, boy, I liked it a lot more than Fire Mario Glass. Uh, I I do enjoy the first time uh, on this one. The the bear. Uh, if you want to talk about barriers in the gameplay, the only barrier I can see is that some people really do have a hard time grasping the spirit flute. Yeah. No, that is uh, that is the hardest thing because it's very. Very finicky. Uh, you have you have the finesse when you're playing it. Like you have to be so. You're like, I need to concentrate. Blow it, it, it. It, it's funny because like if you blow too hard into like into the systems, it, it stops registering. Yeah. And so you have to like really balance. It's like a real instrument where you have to really balance your airflow. Yeah. Like the, that that is like the hardest thing <laughs> about the game. If if you ask me to blow on you, it's like how what intensity? You could list as an intensity for me to how hard to blow is. Nintendo DS. It's not. It's. A nice steady slow stream, yeah. <laughs> which is silly. Um, no, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I, it's not one of the ones I recommend, but like if you did want to play one of the two, like full touchscreen games, boy, I'm gonna say this one one hundred percent over the other one. The Tower of Spirits um, maintains a, a, little, a little bit of what what um, the Tumble Ocean King had, um, and, and it, I think it's. Uh, uh, it's not polarizing for, for the community, but it's polarizing for me, where a lot of people like the Temple of the Ocean King uh, a lot less because, like, you have to go through everything again. And, but but this one, you never have to even think about the other yeah. fours once you clear them. Like, you can go back in there for some extra loot afterwards. Yeah. Like, but, I don't know. I felt like it could be cool if they they made it more rewarding to, to make a quick pit stop. Like, like, you never go back into those rooms. Yeah. I did my 100% playthrough. I never went back into any of the rooms. And the, 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 that damages to me. That, that's like yeah. my opinion. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I, when I, I didn't mind it. I also played it on the Wii U, which 
helps. Yeah, it helped out a lot. Um, uh, it's the best way to play these games, honestly. Like, it's actually the easiest and best way. Uh, even the microphone is... It's all right. It's pretty good. Much better than the other one. Yeah, okay. yeah I felt that. I, I, was, I'm I, feeling was, it. I was thinking seven. Yeah. I was thinking it. Nostalgia. Like I said, just getting on a train. Yeah. I'm not even calling this a song. It's just... Every time you start off, they're just they, they, you're so ready to go. They, they nail the the. They make you want to adventure again. Yeah. Like even if it's a little bit cumbersome, the the, the, the on rails bit and like and like navigating it can be like it's like oh it's just it, it's a mini game between the actual yeah. Selva. It really is a mini game. Yeah. Um. They did a really good job with um, the Tetra Zelda. I I I liked her a lot more in this game. Oh. She's the one of the most. She's the most like in the top three Zelda's. In my yeah, opinion. she's so good, like, all around. Um, good character. Like having Nico there is just so funny. Yeah, like, he's just there. And, all and you have Gonzo's descendant. With, yeah, I forget what his name is. Bonzo. <laughs> but it, it's really cool. Um, flute was really fun. Like I really enjoyed it. Like playing. I know it's just it sucks, but it's better than drawing eights on your screen. Like doing that kind of thing, Alfonso. Uh, Alfonso. I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah. but no, no, you're right. Um, and, and and as far as like actual gameplay, there's a lot of. Um, I almost feel like the items are better in um, in, in Phantom Hourglass. Uh, this one had the whip and the sand rod, which um, which are, are I think the replacements for hammer and uh, grappling hook. Um, but we'll get to items in a second. But overall, I mean, coming coming back to it after repeat playthroughs. I don't mind it. No, I'd go back. I'd actually go over to it over Phantom Hourglass any time. Yeah, I'm just going six. Oh, <laughs> the devil. But put me down for a six as well. I'm, I'm okay with it. Fighting. Fighting. Oh, what's up? Red drink. <laughs> now, when we get into fighting, there's not a lot of and, the, the, and the hardest thing is the last boss is like on top of the train. Like progressing to go forward, it's so hard. <laughs> it the, really is. The, 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 the train phase. Of the <laughs> oh my is god! They god ramped. Awful. It went. Okay, we're gonna use it. <laughs> hey, that was not. <laughs> it's my least favorite part of the game every time. Yeah, it is, it is awful. Like it's such a cool fight, but boy, do they um. The whip and sand rod don't add a lot into this fight. It's or into the fighting. The enemies. The, I think there's a little bit more enemy yeah. variety. I, I don't remember exactly. I don't Spooky have trains. Coming at you. They're, they're funny. <laughs> so, I like you just. My favorite thing about it is like, whoosh, you do a like quick turn on them. Oh man, that's funny. Or you're like, you're like one hit away from dying, and they're right behind you. You get right to the stop. Yeah. Enemy, and just, this, this one we had a three and a four for, and fighting. And I, I feel tempted to go to a five, but I also feel like it's unfair, because it is so similar. I prefer the, the train over the boat fighting. Yeah, the train fighting or the boat fighting is, is what may give it a point. Uh, I'll put four. For, for you? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll bump mine up one. I, I, I feel like it's fair. I think it's fair. Yeah. Items. Like I said, I, I think it's... It's four. It, 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 does, is it better than... than Phantom Mountain Ops items. You get to make you get to have new trains. Get some cool trains. And that, that system is better than Phantom Yeah, it's so much better. It's better. Oh, five. Trains are cool. I like Twains. Uh, I like Twains. <laughs> uh, I, I'm at a five as well. Uh, no. Nah. Yeah. Dungeons. Barely. Barely. I, 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 I do like the whip. I like the whip. And I liked... Um, the sand rod was cool uh, for, 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 for doing the, the puzzles in Sand Temple were very good, actually. I, that, that's a good reason to up it. I'm, I'm feeling that. Dungeons. I did like uh, some of the dungeons in, in, in this game. I think Tower Spirit was, was good. I, I wasn't a huge fan of all the different phantom puzzles, like swapping Zelda between the different types yeah. of phantoms. I wasn't a huge fan of that. I, I had a lot of problem with... Uh, I, I, I think it was just better than... It's way better in general than Phantom. 
but they're so linear and just like yeah, they had cool things, but they just got very uh, repetitive. A lot of stuff you had to do. Yeah, just the very same thing. Yeah, nothing pops out besides like just the last, just getting to the end. It's just okay. I mean that's epic, but boy does it suck. Because everything's easy. It's not hard. Yeah. That's the problem. It, 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 it's Zelda content. Yeah. I'm... Sand Temple's good. <laughs> the rest... Snow area... I don't know. Okay. Gimmick, it's the touch screen again. Yeah, I, I I do like... They utilize it better. They utilize it better, and uh, using the flute was sick. Using the flute was sick. I, I do feel for the people who have problems <laughs> understanding blowing. that. Although. Yeah, blowing. So, some, you have blown problems. This may not be the game for you. <laughs> Suck at blowing. <laughs> Suck at blowing. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Schnikes. I, I, I feel so inclined just to, to stay middle of the road on this game. It's, yeah, it's so middle of the road. Well, like, it, it's not bad. It's, it's not, not, it's not really like, good, bad. great. I'm not, like, like over the moon. They did do a better job on the touchscreen with they, they, keeping everything on rails. And, and also, yeah, they wanted to make sure you weren't destroying your screen. Yeah. They, because they made adjustments to on how you attack as well. Yeah. Cool. Oh, so average. It, this is the most average Zelda game of the whole bunch. I mean, I get five sixes and two fours. So we should, we're probably see uh, at somewhere around ninety, maybe yeah. a little bit above. Maybe, but maybe we'll hit hundred. We'll find out. Is this beat seasons? I don't know. Oh, math time. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I told you, one hundred. One hundred flat. One hundred oh, flat. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not giving any extra. I am. Oh, are you? I am giving... I, 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 I've been saving this one for Spirit Tracks, honestly. Really? Uh, I, I, I really wanted to give it for th just the the great story characters in this game. Uh, fr from Zelda to uh, Alfonso to Burn, especially. Burn gets big points. Uh, uh, and Jean. Uh, Chancellor's cool can screw off. But uh, this, is, this is not for Malice. That is who it's not for, but for Burn. <laughs> okay. Pop. Ba -da -ba. And yeah, no, that that will put it um, above Seasons. We did it. <laughs> we beat Seasons. Can you we believe beat it? Seasons. <laughs> so where are we at? Where, where, so Twilight Princess is the best Zelda game. Right now, yes, it is the best Zelda game by 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 four points. And Everyone is ripping their hair out. And, um, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. If, you, if you just let, let us know what you think yeah, about what Zelda. Your thoughts are yeah, just, just like, be civil and we'll have fun with it. We got two games left. What's and that? boy, are they. Is, is it your pick? Uh, yeah, I don't know. No, you, you picked that one because I remember I was, I was nervous. I don't want Wind Waker. I want to rate Wind Waker last. I think it'll be fun. Too bad. Rate it next. The Wind Waker. Link's Awakening will be the final one we rate. All right. Well, yeah. Link's Awakening is going to be our last game. And that'll be an interesting one. Actually, I think a lot of people will be interested in that. I'm actually very interested to talk about this. So, game. The Wind Waker, next episode. So, HD. HD.